with the child being the quadriplegic or anybody for that matter and you said it's affected by all of those people. Mm -hmm. So if a uh, member of the nursing staff caring for the child, mm -hmm. if they deal with their emotions and their law of attraction related to that, yep. will that then spread out into the rest or does somebody need to actually address maybe a, a healthcare worker that fact with family, with friends, with teachers, how they all? Well, the answer to your question is if I am the, if I'm a person involved, so that's, this is me and I'm involved in this event with this person over here, this child, let's say, right? So here's the child and the event was the child had an accident but the child wasn't my child, it was somebody else's child. I'm a healthcare worker but this is somebody else's child and this is me and all of a sudden I'm being asked now to help the child. Maybe I'm the doctor who's setting the leg or maybe I'm the nurse who's you know, giving the injection even or maybe you know, every single person involved in what happens to this child now is a part of this law of attraction event. right? Now, if I as an individual deal with my emotion, that automatically affects the person who I'm actually assisting right in that moment. Does that make sense? And not only does it automatically assist that person, but the emotion no longer being in me means that nobody in the universe now gets this emotion from me either. In other words, I'm no longer a part of the creation of the event or future events that may occur that are similar. Does that make sense? So now I'm in a place where it's very, very powerful because I'm firstly dealing with my own emotion, so that stops me creating these events straight away. Secondly, every single person who ever comes in contact with me at a soul level, not at an intellectual level, not with my words, but at soul level, is going to feel one less emotion from me, which means that they will be affected in their life one less, a portion less. Now, I have a choice as the helper to also start talking about how this works. Now that's obviously going to have even a bigger effect on every single person involved in the event. Does that make, make sense? But even if I don't talk to anybody, just me dealing with the emotion means that the event, whatever future events are going to be created will be lessened by one person's emotion. Does that? Yep. Yeah, that's making sense. Yep. Um, obviously if it's the parent that's clearing the emotion it has, a bigger effect on the actual healing of that child. Much greater because the child is emotionally supposed. connected to the parent. Okay. Yep. And based on all of that, I was came in and took some notes for some other people who aren't here about that you were having the meeting earlier. Yep. And you said that you didn't want to go down the health track. I feel that what you're teaching is highly powerful in healing and totally. healing is health, so you qualify for gift recipiency anyway. <laughs> but there's nobody on the planet who would accept that an emotion creates a health condition yeah. in the current in the current environment. Maybe we all need to start doing some stat decks. Well, maybe we all need to start yeah, dealing with our emotions, noticing the event, and then telling people about it, and eventually everyone will start understanding the power of the emotion on the condition. See, at the moment, at the moment, the work that I'm doing is, is going to have the most powerful effect on the human condition than any other work that could ever be done. This includes any work you choose to do with the soul. That's going to have the most powerful effect on every single thing that happens on the planet. Every accident is going to be affected by it. Every disease is going to be affected by it positively. You know, every pol politician decision, every legal decision, every healthcare decision, all of these things are all going to be powerfully affected, I agree. But that doesn't mean the government at this day will recognise that as occurring. And, but the truth is, when you put it into practice in your life, you can, you can see it doing it. Like, that's the amazing thing about it, is that, is that these things I'm talking about are not theories. They are, you can put them into practice completely and see it happening day to day life, see the changes happening. Yeah. So, for example, I'm there cutting away the veggies for a, for a meal. And I start thinking about something regarding uh, myself, and bang, I've cut myself immediately. Like it's an immediate result, and straight away I notice, oh wow, there it goes again. I've, I've had things where, which I've shown you, where my skin all of a sudden just cracks open for some, for no reason. Well, there's always a reason. <laughs> there's always a soul-based reason. So the beauty of you dealing with the emotion as a healthcare professional, right, 
is that is that you are definitely going to not only affect yourself, you'll affect every person that comes into your contact from that moment on in a positive way. If we use the mic, keep the mic with you until. Or may have come into your sphere. So, yep. so in other words, you'll go out of business, but you'll be so healthy it doesn't matter anyway because you won't have soul poverty. Well, the truth is uh, you probably won't go out of business because actually everyone will start noticing that everyone that comes to you gets cured and everyone that goes to everyone else doesn't, and then so you probably have more business. This is the irony of the truth yeah. too, is that often we're worried about living in harmony with truth because we, don't, we won't have some kind of income, but in the end we get more income because there's a recognition at the soul level of the benefits of what we're doing. So, so when I first suggested to Mary, for example, that uh, to come and live with me, and she obviously, with three hours out of Brisbane, she obviously had to give up work. Now, she was working as an occupational therapist. I don't re remember what she was earning, but she was working as an occupational therapist. The first thing that goes through her mind is, but what do I do to eat, you know? Oh, well, and I just said, oh, well, what, we do, what I do is I just deal with my emotions and, and I follow my passion and then what happens is I automatically get everything I need to eat. And Mary's going, well, what's this like? This just sounds like crazy. You're like, you, you, you're inviting me to come out with no money and no, uh, you, you know, what, what's your bank account? You know what I mean? <laughs> well, my bank account's zero actually, uh, but, but I don't have a problem with that because every bill seems to get paid either way. Like, um, and this is the thing is that when you operate in harmony with your desires and, and release the emotions that block the flow of everything in the universe towards you, everything automatically changes and happens. So, so that's the thing we need to bear in mind with, with this as well, like with everything in the health, health field, it's exactly the same thing. When we deal with the emotions that, that, that are caused by our condition, it's our soul condition that causes the attraction. So the law of cause and effect is greater than this, but part of the law of cause and effect is if I don't change the cause, the effects are never going to change. Have you noticed that there seems to be more and more accidents occurring on the planet. Now, people argue that it's because our, uh, the human race is actually, uh, you know, larger, denser population. But that's not true at all. Like, the truth is that if you look at it over, over growing periods of time, if you look at accidents over periods of time, you'll find that it actually is about soul condition. And if, if, if we can do a series of tests, and this is the thing is that there's, there's very few scientists that are willing to bite off these kind of tests, but, but if we're willing to do a series of tests, for example, a series of tests involving dealing with emotions and the effect that it has on accidents, dealing with emotions and the effects it has on cancer, dealing with a certain group of emotions and the effects it has on heart disease, and so forth, dealing with a certain group of emotions and the effects it has on asthma. Now, many of you have already started doing this and know that it works, right? Like, I know people who have had asthma all their life, and then as soon as they started dealing with a group of emotions regarding grief and fear, the asthma disappeared completely. Right? So we do know that there is this relationship, but the problem is that we don't, it's all anecdotal. We don't, we don't actually put it into practice because no scientist would be in their right mind at the moment would be willing to try the tests that would, would do this. But the truth is that these truths that I'm presenting to you will be demonstrable as truths in your own life if you put it into practice. So it has a huge practical benefit to every single person. So when you're talking about your soul condition and your emotions, this is the most powerful thing you can do for the planet. The most powerful thing you can do. And then even more powerful than that is to speak about it. That was my next question, which I've covered again. with you before. Yeah. And you suggested then the most help we can give is actually instead of running around trying to fix everyone, is to talk about how they can fix their emotion. Yeah, well, well clear no, them. the clear first the thing really is to fix your own through this process, <laughs> fix your own unhappiness through the process, notice yourself going through the process and understanding all the laws and everything. Then you'll get to a point of confidence inside of yourself. Now, this, is, this actually works completely. And when you're in that state, now you can help anybody in that same place to get to the same place you are. And, and ironically, you will also attract people automatically coming to you for that knowledge. That's the beauty of the divine truth. It happens just naturally. Yeah. So it's very powerful.